Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, if you're not new, hey, how you been? Like, subscribe, comment, all those things. And I am at I am CC Suarez across all social media. Today, we are going to be going over Octavia. I hate it so much. <laughs> I hate it already. It's just so full of misinformation. I know I've been not teasing, but kind of saying like, I'm gonna be doing this video for a while. And here I am. So I have interviewed, talked with a lot of different nutritionists, dietitians, doctors, personal trainers over the last month and a half, two months. Every single one of them has agreed, essentially, that this is not good. And these types of MLMs really do frustrate me. Obviously, all multi-level marketing companies and scams frustrate me in general, but the ones that really give you false hope in regards to getting healthy, losing weight, you know, getting in shape, anything like that. And it's just so messed up because a lot of times people are looking for a quick fix. So just a little insight. I gained, I want to say 60 pounds. I'm 5'2". My license says 5'3". And then at Home Depot, I am 5'4". So depends on the day and how cute and little I want to be. Anyways, I'm not, I'm not very tall. I got big boobies. Listen, I'm small. However, I gained a little bit over 60 pounds in one year within a matter of months because of a medication that I was on. I tried everything I could to lose the weight. I cut out alcohol. I cut out, you know, processed foods. So long story short, I tried everything. I tried all the crash diets. I tried all the fad diets. And for someone who is technically still in recovery from anorexia, that's not good. <laughs> that, is, that is not good. And it took a long time for me to realize I just need to not eat garbage and I need to be in a calorie deficit and I need to move my body. That is the only way you are going to lose weight is if you are in a calorie deficit, if you are burning more calories than you are eating. Now, after talking to, like I said, a lot of dietitians and personal trainers, some of those are one and the same, which is awesome. I love that. A lot of people, and I, you know what? I will leave someone who I really, really appreciate. I will leave her Instagram handle down below. She's awesome. She was very helpful to this video and she probably doesn't even realize it in all the conversations that I've had with her. So I never realized like, oh, well, I'm eating, you know, 1,200 to 1,400 calories a day, but I'm not burning that much. And even recently I was like, I don't understand. I'm burning maybe 500 calories a day, like according to my watch. So how am I ever going to be in a calorie deficit? I just feel like such a dumb dumb for even thinking that because just being a human, just existing, even without working out by just sitting here, I'm burning calories by sleeping, I'm burning calories just by walking around, I'm burning calories. So you can look it up. The average human, obviously for men and women, because our bodies are different, it's different. But for the average, let's say adult woman, you're burning about, I think it's like 2000. Either way, you're going to be in a calorie deficit if you are adding a workout on top of that, okay? Now, with Octavia and with their entire systems, it's essentially just restricting. And if you don't know, restricting means restricting what you're eating, restricting your calories, and starving yourself. That is a form of anorexia. There's a lot of different ways that you can be anorexic, that you can be bulimic, that you can, where you can, you know, binge eat, things like that. There's different aspects of it. I'm not going to get into that. I'm not a professional. I've been through treatment for it and come out the other end healthy and happy and listen, I still struggle to this day because I did lose that weight because I was, you know, skinny and then big and then skinny again and then big and like it just shit is a roller coaster. I do struggle with body dysmorphia. However, I'm a bad bitch. I'm healthy. I'm strong. I can lift over 100 pounds and I'm very about like 100 and 20, I believe right now. So I'm very proud of myself and I should be. And that's the point here. There's no such thing as perfection. It's all about progress. As James Welsh says, perfection doesn't exist. Go subscribe to James Walsh. She's amazing. Anyways, I just wanted to give that quick little disclaimer before we get into this. Trigger warning, this type of shit is basically trying to make you anorexic and it is absolutely awful, disgusting, and I hate it. I'm going to try my absolute very best. <laughs> <laughs> to not burn my house to the ground as I'm filming this video because I do really think going over all of this, I am going to get mad. Now, this semi-deep dive is going to be a little bit different than my other deep dives. I am going to link two really great deep dives down below if you want more information about this MLM. However, there's information that I want to go over and I'm going to try not to yell at you. <laughs> 
just want to shake you. But there are some core aspects of this that I want to go over, okay? When people really start this MLM, from what I've seen, it doesn't seem like it's people who are like serial network marketers, right? It's not like they're, I don't want to say they don't get into it to make money because sure, but it seems like a lot of people will become a coach to get a discount on their food or become a coach to kind of like level it out. Like, oh, I want to earn a little bit of money from this so that I can like cover the cost of my of my meals. Now they call their meals fuelings and that's what this MLM is. They sell prepackaged fuelings. Let me tell you this. These types of diets, these types of lifestyles, these types of programs, they are not sustainable. They are not realistic at all. Again, there's no quick fix. You will be essentially starving yourself. So sure, you'll lose weight by buying these products, but you are most likely going to gain it all back very quickly and possibly more. That is from what I have seen from everyone I've talked to, that's what happens. It is so expensive and so unrealistic, but it is so expensive per month for these meals. So think about it. Not everyone in your family is going to be eating this. So on top of your normal groceries that you spend money on every month, every week, you're also spending around $500 a month on these products, on these fuelings, on these prepackaged meals that typically prepackaged meals are going to be very high in sodium, but also they are very small and they are low calorie. You are essentially, again, you are starving yourself and it's not okay. So their most popular one is their five-in-one kit or plan for the five-in-one plan. And it means essentially you're eating five meals from them and then one on your own per day. And it drives me crazy and it's very, very unfortunate. (laughs) With their essential optimal kit five-in-one plan or the essential on-the-go kit five-in-one plan, well, they're both the same price. It's $3.75. And then that's not even for a whole month. It says that at the bottom, it says existing client or coach, don't forget to add five additional boxes of fuelings, meals, which you can't even call it a meal because it's so tiny, to your order for a full 30-day supply. Like, what? And if you look at what it includes, it says your essential optimal kit includes smoky barbecue crunchers, which are like, I don't even want to call them chips because they're not. It's like puffs, essentially. Golden chocolate chip pancake mix, chocolate shape mix, a crisp bar, shake mix, crisp bar, brownie mix with yogurt chips, shake mix, crisp bar, sugar sticks, sounds delicious, cookie crisp bar, honey mustard and onion sticks, which again, they're like puffs. It's kind of like how you can get those veggie, sh- those veggie straws instead of like potato chips, which veggie straws are the jam too. They're real good. And then some rustic tomato herb penne, mashed potatoes, pudding mix, cereal, soup mix, and then a free blender bottle and five free client choices. And the bottom two are included with your first Octavia premiere order. It's just so frustrating because it's like, that's a full 30 day supply? How? Absolutely how? That makes no sense. And it's essentially saying that you're supposed to eat like one bar. Like one bar is a meal. That's not a meal. It's essentially five snacks and then your actual like meal. So they really... Who the fuck is calling me? Yes. Oh my God. Mm, I'm about to cry. I just got a voicemail from my dermatologist's office and my margins are clear. Yay. Fuck melanoma. Mm. All right. <laughs> uh, Ethan, you can leave that in. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh, thank God. All right. Clear margins. And I don't have to have radiation. Thank fucking God. Okay. Oh, Lord. All right. I'm cancer free. Very excited. Let's keep fucking going. Please wear SPF and please wear sun shirts at the beach. You can get some cute ass ones off Amazon. Skims has some. They're expensive, but they're real good. Just please wear sun shirts. Please cover yourself up at the beach. The sun is not our friend. Surprise, surprise. The big burning ball of fire in the sky is not our friend. Okay, back to this semi deep dive. It's just insane to me that they're saying like, oh yeah, this is enough for to fill you up throughout the day but it's like it's really not and also they urge you to or suggest not urge they suggest you don't work out while you're doing this until you know your body is used to it the reason why they don't want you to work out is because you will die (laughs) like You will cease to exist. For legal purposes, that's me being ridiculous and a joke, but that is crazy. Baby, just eat healthy. I know it sounds easier than it is. 
But just get, get like some frozen vegetables. That is like really, I think the most cost effective and just best way to do that. Get fucking frozen vegetables, put them in the freezer, buy like a bunch of them and you'll be good for like a month or two. And then get, you know, some meat, meat and veggies. Or if you want to be vegan, do whatever you want. But like just eat plants, I guess. Essentially, meat and veggies you're good. That's healthy for the most part. That's easier. That's what I'm trying to do. Don't drink soda unless like it's, I don't know, like Sprite while you're out to dinner or something like that. And work out. Move your body. You're not going to see results right away. You might not see results for like six months. That's what I'm doing right now, except for was trying on clothes the other day and I was looking in the mirror and I was like, damn, look at my booty and my waist looks smaller. Like I was so excited and I've been consistently working out for like four months now. So this is not healthy though. And it's not sustainable. Are you going to eat this for the rest of your life? No, you're not. You are absolutely not going to eat this for the rest of your life. So like I said, they have multiple different packages or plans. Now there's the five in one. That's the most popular. You eat five fuelings and then one meal on your own. And then there's the four, two, and one. And then the three and three. So fresh. Like it's just so fucking frustrating. I really think it is just setting people up for failure and it's taking advantage of people who really want to, you know, maybe change their life and make a a healthy change. But it has to be a lifestyle change. It can't just be doing this and then thinking that this is going to teach you, you know, how to eat better when it's it's not, you know, and it's too expensive. Now, it is a multi-level marketing company. And again, the person who is your coach, what are their qualifications? What are their credentials? Are they just someone who's signed up for an MLM? Most likely. There could be coaches, like actual health coaches or also health coach. That doesn't mean shit. There could be actual nutritionists and dietitians in this MLM. If they are in this MLM, they should have all of their credentials completely stripped from them because that is extremely unethical. If you ask your coach, what do you think they're going to say? They're going to say you have to keep doing it. They're going to say like, oh, we'll take progression pictures, which I love that. But oh, just stay with it. Keep going. Keep going. Like you're not going to see results right away. And you know, I see a difference. Why are they going to say that? What's their motivation? It's to keep you within the MLM. That's their motivation. It's money. I'm not, hey, you might be close to them. You might actually be friends with them. You might actually have a relationship with them. It's BS. It is a transactional relationship now. That's what happens in cults. Now, I found a good bit of health risk with Octavia. Interesting that these health risks, there's a lot of parallels with the obvious health risks and like symptoms of, or side effects rather, of anorexia. I've experienced all of these. Now, side effects may include leg cramps, dizziness or fatigue, headaches, loose skin, hair loss, rashes, gas, diarrhea, bad breath, gallstones, gallbladder disease for those at risk, constipation, and for women, menstrual changes. Also, you shouldn't do this if you're pregnant or breastfeeding or if you are under the age of 13. People with gout and others should stick to those programs geared towards them after clearing it with their doctors, of course. If you're ever going to make like this type of like lifestyle change of like, hey, I'm just going to eat healthier. Maybe I should see like what type of diet. And when I say diet, I just mean like what food you're putting in your body. That's all I mean. So for instance, if someone was like, what's your diet? I would say like vegetables and meat. That's mainly what I eat. I don't mean like, oh, are you on the Adkins diet? Are you on the keto diet? I don't mean that type of shit, okay? Which, yeah, that's a lifestyle too, but I just don't like when it's branded because then it gets even more unethical. So if you're going to make a lifestyle change like that, please do talk to your primary care physician. Older sedentary adults, which means people that don't move much, and people who exercise more than 45 minutes a day should avoid the five-in-one program. I wonder why. Hmm. So I shouldn't do the five-in-one program. Why? Because it's not enough calories. People with serious illnesses like cancer, liver, 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 liver disease, kidney disease, and an eating disorder shouldn't follow any of these plans unless healthcare providers have cleared them as recovered and stabilized. If you're on any medications, especially warfarin, lithium, diabetes medication, or medication for high blood pressure, talk to your doctor before starting any of these programs. So essentially, no one should do it because the amount of calories that you're consuming is so low. Scary. It's not right. It's not not enough calories for anyone to survive off of. 
Now, people who are associated with Octavia or just the company in general, they seem to really go hard with the thought that they, or the narrative rather, that they are not an MLM. A lie. <laughs> like, it's absolutely a lie. Now, this was sent out from the presidential director, Dan Bell, of the MLM, Octavia. We are not an MLM. Thanks, Dan. And I'm just going to read this document to you. It says, it is up for us to frame our business to potential health coaches or HCPs so they are not left with the perception that we are in some way a network marketing or multi-level marketing business. However, it is true that some people are entrenched with concepts that they are quite confident of despite complete ignorance of our business. Dan, Danny boy. How are we ignorant to your business? It's recruitment based and you sell a shitty product. So annoying. Okay. Some people are completely confused about this and they get it in their heads that they think this is a form of network marketing or multi-level marketing in their minds and it will be. The debate to consider is whether or not to say MLM or network marketing in the presentation or let them ask if they have that concern. If we bring it up in a defensive way, in some ways, like a used car salesman saying, this car's never been in a wreck. If he says it even once, it might raise a flag and the customer is likely to think that the car has been in one heck of a wreck. It's the same potential problem with saying we are not an MLM or network marketing. By mentioning those words, the prospect may wind up thinking that we are one of those types of businesses. MLM and network marketing is the same thing. They're just synonyms, you dumb weasel. I prefer to head it off at the pass before it ever comes up by explaining exactly what we are. Obviously, we are not multi-level marketing in any form, hybrid or not. Yes, you are, sir. <laughs> like, you're selling a product and you're recruiting. You're an MLM. Yikes. Oh my God. <laughs> to even be compared to those businesses really drives me crazy. I am not trying to parse words or be cute, like calling a car a jet when it is indeed a car, but we are very different from those types of businesses. No, you're not. We are not even in the same genus, let alone species. Yes, you are. So let me share how I like to frame it. We are a professional health services company. We are similar to the way a financial advisor builds his or her business. They provide personalized financial advice. We provide personal health coaching. I won't go into what exactly a financial advisor does, but suffice, but suffice it to say he or she can work alone, build teams, and or manage larger organizations like we can. We are not salespeople selling stuff that people don't want or need. Yes, you are. Clients don't even order from us. They order directly from the company. The company pays us to coach them. Our focus is on the long-term health of the client and not selling a box of Medifast meal replacements. Medifast is the overarching like company. So kind of like how Shakeology is owned by Beachbody, these Octavia kits and stuff it's owned by medifast so it's the parent company essentially is that's how i understand it to be health coaches can be completely client or patient focused to a hcp we offer a value added service by the way btw how unprofessional is this email btw we are the only professional coaching model in america delivering these kinds of services here are some other points. We are client focused, not recruiting of health coaches focused. Sir, that's the same thing. This is a big distinction between us and MLMs. We are not a wholesale buying club. We don't buy wholesale and try to recruit the world by to buy wholesale. This is underscored by the fact that a health coach pays retail, same as client, and the average health coach generates about 1500 in revenue to end user clients. It says revenue, obviously not profit. So if you are buying all of these meals every month and you're a health coach, health coach, a distributor for this company, that's not profit. You're still buying so much. Like, oh my God. So who's the real customer here? Health coaches are not distributors of products, don't inventory, and are not salespeople. Clients order directly from the company and pay the company directly. Yeah, just like any other MLM. I don't think this person understands like the modern MLM where you are a like a promoter or a distributor, meaning 
oh jesus christ putting that information out there you are selling to people but yeah you are directing them to the website of the mlm and then they are buying it straight from the mlm like it's like this person is stuck thinking like it's like amway which thank god it's not anymore but it's kind of just as worse because it's easier to lose money with it i think harder to see that you're losing money Yeah, this person's really dumb. All health coaches must be trained and authorized by the Health Institute in order to receive compensation. What is the Health Institute? Is that something that you are in charge of that like you give out? Because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like it's just like a little training that they do like in their back office. Further, most then get an additional personal certification by the Health Institute through additional continuing of education courses. Does this remotely sound like an MLM? Well, yeah, if that's not like accredited, then that doesn't mean shit. So yeah, most MLMs have their own internal like training shit. Does that actually mean people do it? No. Is it transferable? No. Does it actually mean anything in the real real world and outside of your cult? No. Building a network of health coaches or health coach P, I don't know what the P stands for, is totally optional. We have no quotas, pressure, hype, manip- manipulation, etc. Which is not always the case in many network marketing companies. The fact that he started off saying like, if a salesperson says, oh, this car has never been in a wreck, you're going to believe that the car has been in a wreck. So you're saying that there's no quotas, pressure, hyper manipulation makes me believe that there is manipulation. Why did you even have to send this out? Because you're an MLM. Just absolutely the worst. Okay, our company was co-founded by a physician. Well, so was Q Sciences, buddy. And that's a cult and a pyramid scheme. We We offer compensation that rewards people based on competencies they acquire and their personal inclinations regarding how they want to operate their business. What language was that? That doesn't make any sense. TSFL pays us for the competencies. Am I saying that wrong? Like, why does that sound weird? Of being a great health coach. The client does not pay for this. What what does that mean? Like, what do you mean being a great health coach? By selling product and recruiting people. Like, that's what that means. If someone chooses to build a team, TSFL pays the business coaches and business leaders for executing these additional competencies. The mentored HCs get support from business coaches and business leaders for free. Sir, you are describing an MLM. (laughs) Think of what we do as a parallel model of how a health coach already builds a medical practice. Huh? The way we grow TSFL is very similar. This email is absolute. Dan, Dan, I need to talk to you. This is horrible. And you, not smart. (laughs) I don't think you understand what a multi-level marketing company is. I don't think you get it. Good God. If a solo doctor and his or her own practice, he, she gets paid for providing professional medical health services to patients. Well, yeah, either by the patient or by the back bill, the patient or the insurance company. So it's not the same because there's not like a third party paying you, weirdo. If the doctor wants to reach more people, he or she may hire other doctors establishing a clinic and determine a fee structure to pay those doctors. Within this structure, the original doctor can now reach more patients and he has to leverage his assets and his time, thus earning more money to correspond with more responsibility and business skills he is incorporating in his or her practice. These newly learned business skills, by the way, are skills, management, administration, training. They are very different from doctoring? I, I, I can't. This is, I don't even think unprofessional is a good way to describe this. I would just say idiotic. And Tony said I need to stop using that word because I use it in a very self-deprecating way and I shouldn't call myself an idiot because I'm not. I'm very intelligent. Danny Boy is not because that are very different from doctoring. It reminds me of one of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite books, which is a book called Everything I Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten or something like that. All I Really Knew to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. That's what it is. And the quote goes, a giraffe has nothing to say. He just goes around giraffing. And that's one of the best quotes I've ever heard in my life. Absolutely one of the best. (laughs) Reminds me of doctoring. And listen, I could be a complete ignorant idiot and that could really be a correct phrase. However, I don't think it is. 
he is now also providing income to the junior doctors working for him or her. Now, if the original doctor is really business driven, they may open another one, two, or three or more clinics in their area. Again, helping more people get health. What? Can't wait to get health. Go pick up some health today. Providing more income to more employed doctors and earning more personally because he has leveraged time. He has leveraged time? Dan, what? These three steps are the same thing that a HCP, one of the distributors, does in his or her TSFL business in the Octavia business. Here is suggestion to add to your repertoire. Like, how are you gonna say words like repertoire when you're hardly making sense? It's just insane. I feel like this is, I'm not accusing this person of doing drugs. Listen, when I used to do drugs, I would like try to be so, (laughs) I would try to use all the big words and yet it was just did not make any sense. Like other aspects of what I was saying made no fucking sense. It just screams Adderall essentially is what I'm saying. Her Adderall abuse. All right, so here is suggestion to add to your repertoire the next time someone says something off the wall, like this is an MLM. Really, Dan, is it so off the wall? No, it's not. Simply say to them in an incredulous way, oh, someone studied for the SAT. Oh, or the ACT, whatever one. If you're not from the US, I don't know if they do that in other countries, but we have those types of standardized tests because we suck. So it's a standardized test that you have to study for and you never use anything ever again. And it essentially dooms people who have mental health hiccups to fail. Simply say to them in an incredulous way, what in the world gave you that idea? Is that what you think this is? And subtly laugh. (laughs) Oh, that's too funny. Well, I guess I haven't done a very good job explaining what it is that we actually do. If you think that we are an MLM, what should be capitalized should be we, not that. Or rather, it should be italicized. Again, I don't know why I expect more because doctoring, right? Let me tell you exactly what we are. Again, uh, that makes sense for that to be capitalized or italicized, but putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. We are a professional health services company, etc. What? <laughs> is that the end of the end of the pitch? End of the rebuttal? What is this? Once you get someone to understand that we are teaching people how to first lose weight and second, how to live the B slim lifestyle. The fuck is a B slim lifestyle? <laughs> An Octavia term. There is no way a person could think this is an MLM. Dan. Daniel. Danathy, can I call you Danathy? Donald. No, Danny boy, Daniel, Mr. Bell. This is an MLM. I've done extensive research. I have been pitched to this MLM. I have consumed a lot of content regarding this multi-level marketing company, which is in fact a multi-level marketing company. If you are recruiting people under you and you are also selling a product, multi-level marketing. If you are just selling a product, then it's single level marketing. Both of those, single level marketing and multi-level marketing, both fall under direct sales. Multi-level marketing is also known as network marketing, social selling, pyramid scheme. (laughs) Yikes. It's the same thing. If you weren't so busy looking at your SAT flashcards, I think you would understand that. How embarrassing is that? That's yikes. Okay. I know this video was short. It wasn't really a deep dive, but I wanted to just put that information out there. Because listen, I can go over all of the products. I can go over all of that. I can go over, you know, lawsuits and stuff. But the fact is, this is not a viable income source for you. This is the average profit is zero per the FTC. But this is also not a viable and sustainable lifestyle. It's not a sustainable diet plan. It's not a sustainable diet in general. So please Please understand that no matter how you see yourself, I'm not going to say no matter how you look, because we all, most of us know that doesn't matter. When you look in the mirror, no matter what you see, please understand that you are absolutely beautiful. You are valuable and you are important. This shitty prepackaged bars and foods and air puffs that are barbecue flavored, allegedly, that's not going to help you lose weight. Vegetables, some frits if you want, and some type of meat, poultry, chicken, fish, whatever. Making those types of healthy choices, meal prepping. Listen, shit gets boring. I get it. But you should also, you know, not restrict. Work out, live healthy, move your body. You know, it doesn't have to be these crazy workouts. You know, I lift weights 
I also do cardio. Today, I'm actually not going to the gym. I'm gonna do this, these like dance workouts that I found on YouTube that I absolutely am obsessed with. I'll link his channel down below. They are so good. And then I'm gonna do an ab workout too because I still cannot really lift weights because of these stitches in my back. But I still have to work out because I love to eat and I'm trying to be healthy and be strong. So please understand, like I said, that you are absolutely beautiful. If you want to work out or lose weight, if you want to do anything like that, please do it for the right reasons. And please understand that you are not alone. I'd say most people have a some type of struggle like this with their perception of themselves or their health or their weight or anything like that. So you're not alone. This is not going to help you. Please do not take the advice of someone who is going to profit off of you It's different than going to the doctor, okay? It's different than seeing a dietitian. These people who are in an MLM in regards to like health and wellness or any MLM, they do not have a fiduciary responsibility to you. Dietitians, nutritionists, primary care physicians, they do, are supposed to do what is best for you, not these people. I'm going like this because my computer has it up on the screen. Again, you're amazing. Like, subscribe, comment, or don't if you don't want to. If you are an Octavia and you leave a nasty comment or anything like that, one, I will screenshot it and I will use it in one of my reading mean comments videos. So get ready for that. Also, before, I mean, sure, leave whatever comments you want. I'm not your dad. I can't tell you what to do. But please just take a breath and at least try to, sure, you know, I'm snarky, whatever, I'm spicy. All right. But take a second and actually think about the things that I was saying for more than five minutes. Okay. And then, hey, if you still want to leave that comment, go for it. Go for it, babe. If that makes you feel better about yourself, get it. I don't have a P.O. Box unboxing to do right now. I got these in my P.O. Box, the a little, she has a little shop, Tara Clay something. I will have them in my description box and they are so cute. I wore a different pair that she sent me two pairs. I have a different pair in my bag over there. I wore it this weekend and these are so cute. They're so like light, but they're like, they're like quality. I like it a lot and it was like really cute with this outfit. Also, I got new Air Force Ones. Look how fucking cute they are. Oh my God, my thing's shaking too much. Look at how freaking cute these are. Look at these. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I spent way too much money today. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this outro is way too long, but please do not trust people who are profiting off of you buying into something, telling you that you have to do this specific thing to lose weight. Sure, you might lose weight because you are starving yourself. <laughs> That's why you're gonna lose weight. It is an MLM. This Dan Bell presidential director is an idiot. I know I shouldn't say that word. I don't care. This person is, he's not the vibe. He's really not the vibe. I will see you in my next video and feel free to send me all of the Octavia things so I can react to them, debunk them, and scream at them. Okay, bye!